Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. This is an information video about uh, VMware virtualization. A lot of people that are coming to this site, uh, they are pretty new to IT and uh, usually they get confused when you tell them that you do need to know about uh, virtualization uh, if you want to advance your career. Uh, even in our small help desk course like this one, when you go to the help desk course, uh, we do cover uh, you know, basic virtualization concept and things like that. Uh, but then, then you, if you want to move up and you want to advance your career, then at that point, you need to know about the VMware. You know, this is kind of like how in networking, you need to know about Cisco uh, with servers and Active Directory. You need to know about Windows servers. Uh, for help desk, you need to know more about troubleshooting and mix, mix kind of things. But, you know, a lot of people who wants to move up, that that's going to be the system admin position in our, uh, you know, from our members' perspective because most of you are taking these Windows-related courses and then uh, you're asking for a next step. Uh, and we usually tell you that, okay, you need to, if you want to move up to system administration, then you should really start with something like VMware uh, because there's a reason behind it. I mean, we, we can tell you that you can straight go to the servers but then when you start, start start explaining this concept of where are these servers these days, you know, in this 2018, uh, right now, what is the, the way, what is the trend and how people are doing the technology now? And then they get confused, you know, because now cloud is also coming in. So I know it's pretty confusing, you know. So in this video, I'm going to try to explain things, why you need to know about the VMware and how you can learn about VMware uh, through us. So... Uh, number one, first let's jump into why you need to know about VMware. And and I always want to be realistic. I just search something about, you know, system administrator position uh, or just type the VMware in Indeed.com. Just look at the titles that are attached to this keyword. VMware, so it's tell you VDI, you know, okay, that makes more sense that this is more of like a virtualization type of engineer right there. But look at this one, Technician 3, Hub Desk. Systems Administrator, VMware, VMware Experience with VMware, Horizon 6 or higher, uh, Help Desk Analyst, uh, you know, some limited exposure to VMware, some limited, you know, some limited. This means you just need to know how to get into the VMware and how to know uh, is this like a VMware environment and troubleshooting, uh, stuff like that, very basic ways, you know. Technician, you know, again. Uh, senior engineer, network engineer, VMware consultant. Again, this is kind of like very directly to VMware. But then again, look at these titles. Most of them are either help the system administrator or directly VMware. Um, and if you come to the help this position, it says cloud computing knowledge required Hyper-V, VMware. And why are they asking this? Like, what is the what is the point of this for someone new, you know? Because like I said, my video is directed to the new people. So if you're already an advanced person, you can just close this video or maybe you can give your own suggestions. So here, here's the thing why people want you to know about VMware and why this is happening now. And I have explained this in my course again, but I'm going to explain this in the video one more time. So just for example, uh, let's jump into our whiteboard. So, you know, a lot of people when they have what they have right now, this let's say this is the building right now. This is the building. And this small room is the server room right here. Okay, this is where all the servers are like, you know, uh, you know, physical server, like, you know, all of them are right here. Let's say this is one server, another one, another one, uh, you know, it could be in this shape or it could be like in a, this shape, you know, any, any shape, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, and then these are the computers right here. Let's say this is office one, office two, just forgive me about my bad drawing right here. So here, there are four offices right here, okay? So what happened now, what's happening is that people basically started to get away from the physical server like this, you know, so many of them. So they will now buy one powerful server like this. And then now on top of this, they will put something like virtualization. Now, I'm not going to go into any technical terms over here. I'm just going to be making things up to make things very clear you know so this is a server a big powerful machine and then operating they put like some operating system on it and that turns this server into virtualization type of server of course these servers needs to be able to uh, there needs to be in uh, modern enough to take that OS and turn itself into that you know monster where they can then provide multiple servers like these then inside this is like a virtual servers server right here 
So when I say server, this could be a Windows 2012 or 2 operating system installed in this one block of area. And then you basically assign a RAM, a memory, disk, whatever. You know, you just assign that to this server. You assign another one to this one. You assign another one to this one. And you see how easy it is with virtualization that they have to remove all of this physical stuff. And then they just jumped into this one big machine right here. And now from that one machine, they are controlling so many different different uh, virtual servers and in terms of backup in terms of troubleshooting everything is super easy because you can just uh, you may have a new software you know just came out and you want to install this on the server before that when you wanted to do this stuff on a physical server remember you had to take a backup of that server or do something you know like a uh, like a snapshot of backups and stuff like that and it was a it was a headache you know trust me it was a really headache so now all you have to do is to click on click on snapshot boom in one minute or you know in less than that you got a full snapshot of that server do whatever you want to do with that server you mess it up go back to the snapshot in a few minutes and that's it and now if let's say you have another big server like this you can easily move things without even without your clients even noticing things are happening so that's how cool it is in in virtualization of course this is more than that that was just my really basic non-technical way of explanation i hope people get it if don't make sure you go to my help this course because in that i really explain this stuff like you know i spent some really boring time on this so that is the main key, you know, and then why they want you to know this, because, of course, if, if you don't have this anymore and you have to manage this stuff and if this goes down, then how how can you, you know, uh, you know, troubleshoot this stuff? So, of course, when you become a system admin, then you really need to know this stuff. Now, at that point, also, you, as a system administrator, if you're a broader system administrator in a company like you're one system administrator and, or two or three, and you're working with multiple technologies, then you may not be an expert in this area. You may have a vendor. You may you may be uh, you may have some kind of support or contract with some other some other companies that are expert in this area. But you may be in, working in a company where they want you to know everything, and they don't have uh, your backup like that. So you then you do need to know all of this stuff. If this goes down then how do you fix it all that stuff you know then you need to learn it so before people would learn about dell dell itself like you know what what is dell providing you what kind of tools dell provide you because that's a hardware dell you know and then you, you on top of it you have operating system but now it's vmware it's it's still dell or cisco or other hardware right here but at the same time you don't have that server like it's three steps now you have a big you know uh let's say this this is going to be like dell server and uh, or you know hardware that they provided to you or Cisco then you need to know about that a little bit then after that you need to know about the VMware like which is kind of like you're installing this whole vSphere you know um, uh, the whole system on this and then after that you you need to learn about the OS stuff like that you see how things are getting a little advanced in this way it's getting easier but at the same time it's more to learn now so that's why uh, when I showed you that you know that little thing right here that's reality uh, a lot of people forget that, you know, when I start talking to them, oh, you know, you need to know about VMware, they get shocked that, oh, as a system administrator, someone told me you just need to do MCSA and that's it. But when you go to the interview, they don't even care about that stuff. They really don't ask you too many questions about MCSA type of stuff because there's so many other things now. And I will, each video, I'm going to start explaining things, the things that are other than just server, a server operating system, not just OS. We're not talking about just OS over here. It's more than that. Cloud, you know, we're talking about cloud here. We're talking about uh, this virtualization now, you know, so VMware kind of stuff, Hyper-V. Uh, we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, like content management systems, you know, all these, uh, and Cloudflare kind of things, security. So many things are involved in this. So I'm going to try to, in each video, I'm going to try to, like, you know, cover these things. But then how do you learn it now? Of course, that's the main thing. This is where you need to invest. And that's where, uh, of course, this type of stuff, we are not teaching that, you know, directly in our uh, platform. So we have a partner to do that. You know, we'll partner with another platform. So then we kind of combine these things. So at, at this point, we're kind of more of like a counselor here because we don't want you to get lost with all these 200 courses access that you get from us. This is a premium access. As soon as you get premium access or maybe just a partner content, you can get that way too. But I prefer premium because then you get courses with labs. So how are you going to do this? Because how are you going to learn this stuff? This is, I always tell people that you need to go from the lower, 
versions. Don't just jump into the latest stuff. So for example, if you're going to learn about VMware, then you need to start, start from uh, 5.0. And the, the latest one is 6.5. So if I'm going to go there right now, and you're going to type in VMware in your access, just type that, search it. And then when it comes out with the search, you see it start from 4.0, 4.1, 5. 5. x. So right here, this is what you need to learn from all the way down here. Watch this. You got all of this information. All of these are courses. They're very, very, uh, you know, informational. And then they have some demos in there. They show you stuff step by step with the screenshots. So they explain a lot of things in there. This is a lot of content out there. So I would definitely recommend that you start from this. Then you go to the 5.0, 5.5, 6.0, 6.5. And I'm sure by then you would know everything about VMware because why you need to know about 5.5? I know so many companies at this point, they're using 5.5 and they're planning to upgrade to 6.0. But I know so many companies that are on 6.0 and they want to get to 6.5. Think about this. So when you go to the interview, you may land a job in the company or they may really like you, but they may you may get stuck in where they may ask you something about uh, what they want to do like you know maybe their next project is 5.5 to 6.0 and you are you're trying to get that job imagine if you are really good at it and you're you're like oh yeah I have done all these labs and I can I can do this stuff I have done everything from 5.5 to 5.6.0 uh, then that's you know and, and and for you when you land a job you're also very comfortable because now you know exactly what's going to happen uh, so then 6.0 to 6.5, you learn all that, right? That's cool because now you learn all that stuff. You can do it on your own machines. You can you can bring your own server and do all that stuff. But also you get labs from us. And so when you log into your labs, you get so much, but I am going to only focus on the VMware part. And here you can start from the VMware Certified Professional 5. Like I said, remember, you want to start with five, so then you can learn about the updating, upgrading this to six. And then when you click on the sixth one, then you will find more about the six. We don't have 6.5 right now, but this will be available soon. But you see, you have these two right here where you can really, really practice when you learn things in that course. So you can learn things from here, and then you come back and practice it over here. And these are also courses itself because it has its own task available. So they're not totally connected with each other this is a totally different course it's like a separate course and this is a, a hands-on lab course it has its own tasks so you can click on the five right here and you see you can come down all the way down here and then learn about all these installations create configure all of that stuff you know what's important to you basic troubleshooting and then you can go back and then do the same thing with the other one so with the sixth one and if you click on the four, then it will show you the upgrade to five. And so you will learn a lot in this, in these labs. And you have access to one of the things like, you know, uh, the vCenter servers, which requires a license. You can get it uh, for 60 days from VMware. If you're going to, if you're going to try that in the course, like this one, 6.5, then they give you that 60, uh, 60 days license for free. For that, you just need to have your own equipment. But like I said, from your side, if you're trying to get into the system administration as an entry-level position or help desk or anything like that, then just learning and practicing on these labs will be enough. You really don't need to buy your own equipment to know this stuff because other, if you're really, really, really serious about virtualization, then you should be thinking about becoming a virtual administrator and specifically targeted position like that. Then, yes, you may want to get your own big server and then you know get the latest on it from these courses you still need to learn this stuff from these courses though um and if you wait a little maybe there will there will be a lab available for 6.4 here too and you will need to buy it now how do you get it you definitely need to go to jobscashare.org click on membership and get the premium membership and that's where you get the labs and the courses and our courses at the same time now again we are not teaching it this is our partner so that's how uh, uh, we combined everything. If you have any questions about this, let us know, and we'll try to help you out. Try to, to make sure you get to the right uh, information. You get the right information, and you're on track. Thank you.